hi pu2 students so welcome back to the channel and your midterm exams are ahead so at this point of time are you facing this problem of time management how to do preparation for midterm how to prepare for kct how to complete the homeworks how to do the revision uh, there is something going on in the class there is something going on in the revision so how to balance all this right so don't worry you are not alone in this and one of the video that i had made before about kct kct preparation 6 month strategy there i have seen lots of comments uh, where students put the doubt that ma'am we are having midterm exams in between how to prepare kct at that time right so this is a very common question so please don't worry because this solution has come in the form of this video where i'll be telling you a detailed timetable how you can manage both kct your midterm homework class work everything will be done if you follow this time table okay so please let's get uh, dive in and let me tell you that if you follow this time table you will not just survive but you will thrive in your life okay let's get now so first of all what i have in this video so we will first talk about uh the challenge that you are facing about how to balance the kct and midterm plan what should be your time table i'll be then giving you a smart after school time table or after college time table for some students then we will have a complete summary and here also i'll be telling you what are the tips that you can follow for success okay so quickly moving on to the challenge that you have first of all many of the students will have just 4 to 5 hours after school okay so maybe 8 hours you are spending then 2 uh, 6 hours in school 2 hours of traveling then you have uh, sleep you have to take uh, proper sleep food everything so i think 4 to 5 hours maximum you will be having and many of the students will be having even less than this but an average 4 hours is something that you should manage after school now after this what we have time management is the biggest problem where do we have to manage our time we have so many things to manage our time we have kct we have revision we have to do homework we have to take care our health we have to prepare for mid term so there are so many challenges that we have there are so many things that we have to do so there is a very very important need of a proper time table here and that is why we have this video today so now let us talk about how to make a time table for this so you should be dividing your whole day after school okay so means uh, let me tell you if your school ends uh, for example school is from 8 to 2 okay so from the 2 pm till night and till the next morning you go to school this whole time which you are having should be divided into four blocks okay now here i am not telling you any time from which period to which period because everybody will have different school timing different college timing so that is why i am just giving you that you have to make into four blocks and each block duration also i'll tell you time you have to fix based on your schedule okay so block 1 will be recharge and homework block 2 will be class revision block 3 will be midterm focus and block 4 will be kct practice how to do let's see this okay so let's move to block 1 so block 1 duration you have to give 1.5 hours okay so what you have to do in this block 1 once you return from the school or college if you you just freshen up okay have some food there 15 to 30 minutes almost you have to spend in these all things so out of this 1.5 hours almost uh, 30 to 50 minutes are done with this okay after that what you have to do first you have to finish your homework okay because homework is something which helps you to revise whatever has been taught in the same class so there's a daily revision and it also brings you a discipline that whatever is completed you are doing the homework on the time you are not keeping it for the next time okay so please complete your homework and for this whenever any make sure that you have a diary or a homework uh, list prepared already so whatever homework is given to you in the class okay just note down that and keep it ready so that you come home open this list and make a check box and try to complete all the homeworks and then your work is done if you are able to complete some homework in the school time when you have free time or any teacher is absent that will be very great you will have more time for midterm and kset preparation now moving to the second uh, block that is daily revision here you have to give 30 to 40 minutes and what you have to revise you have to simply revise whatever is taught to you in that day. 
day okay in class whatever is taught to you just open your timetable period by period you go first period what was taught revise it second period what was taught revise it third period what was taught revise it okay and this revision can be done very fast if you are fully attentive in the class if you have listened you have understood all the concepts in the class you have uh, clarified all your concepts then it will just hardly take 15 to 30 minutes to revise whatever is taught in the class so this is done so that you don't have any backlogs you don't uh, next day when you go school you are not blank you know what is going on in your class okay this is important you can just do it in 30 to 40 minutes and if you are completely attentive fully focused in the class 15 minutes is also enough for this now once we are done with this okay once all these things are over now we will go back to the main thing that we have to do that is midterm focus and how many time how much time we need to give at least two hours 1.5 to two hours you have to give for midterm preparation okay so what you have to basically do here you have to select a chapter revise its concept you have to make short notes for that chapter and then you have to do writing practice of pyqs right so how can you denote it so first of all you have to clarify the concept so here for clarification of concepts you can take one hour okay then for making notes you can take 30 minutes and then for solving pyqs you can take 30 minutes okay so like this you can break your two hours time now here we can help you to a great 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 extent okay how so we have prepared as you have seen we have launched our midterm revision marathon okay fast track revision in just 30 days and we have done it for all the four subjects physics chemistry maths and bio so what exactly we are doing in this series you will be very much benefited with this plan so you will have a particular chapter you will get its one shot revision rapid revision all the important concepts will be taught to you here you will understand the concept and after that there will be one one marker questions all mcqs almost 30 40 mcqs you can solve in this video okay once you're done with this you can do this so you can see this one video is of one hour right so that is for your concept revision i have given you one hour time so you can just watch this whole video in one hour after that what you can do you can just do the fifth this video will be hardly 30 20 to 30 minutes or sometimes even less than that so you can do all one marker questions after that you can devote at least 30 to 40 minutes in doing these questions where the 2 plus 3 marker questions are discussed so for every chapter of all the subjects we have this format so how basically like basically you are completing everything for a chapter in one single day okay and after that the next thing once the once your concepts were clear okay next thing what you had to do you had to prepare notes for that and for that also you don't have to worry you can just join our whatsapp channel okay many students have uh, said that they're not getting the notes so let me just show you so you have to join our whatsapp channel there you can see that we have given you link get all series lecture pdfs here so just click on this link and then chap subject wise chapter wise all the notes will be provided to you so you don't have to even waste your time there you can take simply the printout or you can use online notes for preparation so here also we can save your time but my personal suggestion is to make your own handwritten notes that is more beneficial for me like according to me okay but if you are benefited with this online notes do use it okay now once this is done so so this is the complete preparation of midterm we are doing all the chapters so it will be very very beneficial for your preparation so you can just take a screenshot of this uh, schedule that we are having so today we will be uh, like you can see on uh, different dates what all subjects are there what all chapters are there so there will be videos at 6 pm 7 pm and 8 pm 6 pm will be the one shot revision video 7 pm will be one marker video and 8 pm will be two plus three marker video so all the chapters are co covered till september 30 everything will be done so whatever is done that is there the rest which all videos will be coming here is the list of that you can take a screenshot of this now we are done with midterm revision next comes the kct preparation where maximum of the students are having this confusion that whether we should stop the 
KCT preparation, whether we should give it a pause or whether you should continue it and if we want to continue it, how to do it. So for KCT, just simple rule you have to follow. So you are studying a chapter for your uh, midterm examination. So that particular chapter, you can just solve 5 to 6 or 5 to 10 PYQs. That will be enough at this point of time. Okay, so if you what you have to do just devote 20 minutes solve 5 to 10 PYQs and revise all the formulas. So remember long hours of preparation for KCT is not important right now but consistency is the key here. Okay, one small step that you take right now can lead you to top 1000 rank. Okay, so hardly 15 to 20 minutes you have to devote solve 5 PYQs only 5 PYQs of 2025 or 2024 and that will be enough at this point of time okay next after this we have our physical activity so please remember the next day morning when you get up just take out 15 minutes for your physical health because uh, continuous study will drain out and your brain will also not retain many things so just simple walking you or after dinner also you can do simple walking stretching light exercises which will improve your focus plus energy okay i want this everyone to do whenever you get in the time after in the evening if you have time do it after dinner if you have time you can do it early in the morning you have time you can do it just 15 minutes of your day for your health okay so this is there now next i have some final tips for your success so start with the high weightage chapters okay it is very very important to cover those chapters first from where maximum number of questions will be asked so you can with less study also if you are putting your time on the right chapters that will give you more marks right so please focus on the high weightage chapters first next we have ncrt as a base so you can either refer to our videos if you want to read from ncrt or from books if your online study is not comfortable for you you can refer ncrt books only don't go for any other books next maintain a mistake notebook where you can write all the errors okay and when you solve pyqs right and from where you can solve pyqs from jivit book this book I recommend because it has a lot of good questions. So please try to follow this book. Whatever questions you got wrong, write it in your mistake notebook so that you don't repeat it. And if possible on weekdays or, or sorry on Sundays, you can write one model paper on one test paper you can write. Okay. Next, sleep well and stay consistent. This is very important. You may not study four to five hours every day, but make sure that you study at least one hour every day. Okay. So that is more important here consistency is the game so please do not uh, just leave uh, KSET preparation zero and focus fully on midterm or fully focus on KCT neglecting the importance of midterm okay so that was all about in this video and I have some more things that you can watch so we have our midterm preparation strategy is completely explained here timetable is given here and physics bio chemistry all subject wise strategies also there how can you get 70 on 70 in midterm that is also discussed so you can watch these videos if you have time and that's all in this video my dear children thank you so much and i hope this video will help you and now this question will not come that whether we should or how you should continue kct preparation with midterm exams okay i hope i have cleared your major doubt thank you for watching and if you have further questions please put down in the comment section i'll definitely address to it all the best and take care